Well, hello everyone. Good evening. It is like, oh geez, what time? It's 3.21 on a Thursday afternoon. Um, my awesome little friend, Andrew Guggins from Backwater Fishing brought me a really, really, really beautiful red last night. So today we are going to be baking it. I'm calling it Andy stall. How he did it last night, we're gonna do a repeat. Um, but anyway, um, the fish is cleaned and I have two beautiful fillets of it. See that? Oh yeah, y'all, oh yeah, yeah. This is good eating here. So this is Fred, uh, fresh redfish. Okay. So. On the foil, already got one halfway started. If y'all could see this, I'm, tr I'm trying to do this because I still don't have a camera set up, y'all. Okay, um, I have lemon down. You see that? I got lemon slices down. Put the redfish on there. I seasoned them up with my seasoning and a little bit. Chef Paul Perdome. The, the um seafood seasoning so we got that there okay y'all okay so um i got that on there i just gotta cut some of my butter everything better with butter yeah 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 i can't sing Randy always tells me I can't carry a tune in a bucket, but guess what? When I make it to heaven, <clears throat> God's going to have me in a choir. Just to show him I could carry a tune in a bucket. But anyway, y'all see what I'm doing? I got butter on that baby. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got my oven preheating to 350. I might make a few scores in it. Not that it needs it. Well, I tell y'all what, this is a thick redfish. <clears throat> so I see, oh, and I also put garlic powder on it too. Can't never, me, I don't cook without garlic. Um, so anyway, can y'all believe I'm not using the Trinity on this? <laughs> yeah, people, I'm not using it. Um, okay. So, I have my butter on it. Like I said, I got... In case y'all... I guess y'all could see that. And house blend. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna put some more right there. Okay, y'all, see that? That's one slab of red thing. We're gonna wrap them up. I'm gonna make this one Andy style. This is what Andy done on his video, backwater fishing. Go look them up on Facebook and look them up on YouTube. On YouTube, it's all one word, backwater fishing. Uh, I'm not sure about his Facebook. But anyway, my oven is now up to 350. So, voila, we put that baby in there. I'm going to let it bake for about 10 minutes. Um... I don't know. I, I don't know what to make with it. I guess I could make uh, some fries, maybe. Yeah, maybe we'll make a few fries to go with it. Let me get my pot, y'all. I'm a little bit uh, unorganized today. Uh, we just come back from North Carolina because. Randy got really, really sick up there, and um, 
we are just fighting that. So, my baby's sick, so I'm, not that he could eat this, but I, I could eat it. <laughs> I love him, but I'm going to eat me some redfish. Well, I'm going to try to give him a little bit, you know, very little bit of it, not a whole lot. But he's got to eat, too. So, let me get me a... I think I got potatoes left. I'm saying potatoes. Heck, I don't even know if I have any potatoes left. No, do I have any potatoes left? Let me see. Yes, I do. Okay, y'all. Me personally, I think skin on a potato is good. A lot of people frown at it. I like the skin. But I'm um, gonna make people happy and fry some with the skin, without the skin, and some with. Cause, and then I'm gonna whip up some coleslaw real quick. Okay, here's this. So we got a potato. Got my house nice and cool. In North Carolina, uh, Randy got sick and we stood as dads and it was hot, hot, hot. I mean, no hotter than it is down here, but it was hot. And his daddy don't keep the place cold like we do, but which was good anyway. Randy burning up with 103 fever and <clears throat> all that good stuff. You know how that is. Okay, let me get the coleslaw stuff and we wanna get it done. y'all uh, blue plate okay blue plate mayonnaise I don't use dukes I don't use Hellman's I don't use none of that I'm just a blue plate kind of girl and I was lazy today so I bought the whole slaw mix already where I usually do it myself if you know me I do it myself so but today Rhonda was lazy and bought the mix made already because Rhonda don't want to chop everything up. Sorry y'all, let me tell you. It was 14 hours getting home from North Carolina, and let me tell you, that was a heck of a pull, and you don't feel good, you got a bad back, your husband's burning up with fever, but you do what you gotta do, right? Of course we do. We're women. We're survivors. Okay, y'all. Um, some people like their coleslaw big. I like mine nice and bite size. Ooh, yeah, yeah, that redfish smelling good, yeah. Okay. Got the oil getting hot. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, mayonnaise. Put that baby in there. Heck, I don't even know if I got regular salt, y'all. And I ain't kidding. Let me see if 
I do. Oh lordy, do I have regular salt, God? I do, I do y'all. Look at that. Rouses. That's the big supermarket down here, y'all. I love Rouses. Put a little bit of sugar. Well, that's salt, y'all. But I will be putting sugar in it, too. I don't like to measure. A lot of people do. Me, I don't. But I don't really get complaints. So, apparently... My cooking ain't too but dang bad. Of course, my poor kids, believe me, was not a good cook when I was younger. It took me a very long time to learn because just one of them old self-taught cooks. Well, my oldest sister would help my mama with the cooking when I was younger. I was married and out of the house at 17, so. <clears throat> okay, y'all. I got that done, that done. I'm going to put a little bit of stuff in it. Okay, now, look at that. I guess y'all could see with this light. I got the light on from the stove. I'm just making enough for tonight's dinner, y'all. Because... Y'all, my husband's out of bed. That's always a good sign. Hey, everybody. Come show your face and say hi to everybody. Dead man walking. Yeah, dead man walking. Welcome. Uh -huh. And Jarell, that's what I need. Right there, sweetheart. Look, baby, stand right here and tell everybody hi. Hello, everybody. I'm on a liquid diet, and she's eating a redfish. <laughs> What do y'all think about that? That just ain't right. It says, I'm one heck of a woman. I take care of his butt. Y'all. He ain't hurting for nothing. Hey, Jennifer. Oh, and Tom. Hey, Tom. I ain't seen you in forever. Cooking redfish. <sighs> Baked redfish. Randy, you cousin Jennifer's on there. See? Liquid diet. Jello. Oh, Rona. What? <laughs> oh, Rona tried to get me. Ran Rona. She just said, guess what? You're going to do what I'm saying to do. Let it come up naked. Okay. What's that? Let me put this in the icebox for a bit, quick. I know people, it's not a real icebox. I'm from New Orleans and we call it an icebox, even though it's a refrigerator. When my granddaughter Bella's over and sleeping over and I'll say, go get this an icebox, go get that. And she's like, my cousin from Germany joining in. Um, but anyway, 
Uh, no, let's, oh, I'll tell Bella, go to the icebox and get this for Mama. And she's looking in the cooler, and I'm like, Bella, the icebox. And she's like, well, Mama, I don't see an icebox. I'm like, Bella, the refrigerator. The refrigerator as well. Which I think is cute. Okay, y'all, so I'm doing some of the um, potatoes with that skin. Some with. I'll be taking that redfish out in a minute because... I got them baking now, and we don't want no spots in our potatoes. Nope. Uh, then I'm going to take the redfish out, take the foil, peel back off of it, and then let him crisp up a little bit. How's everybody doing nowadays with all this meanness and ugliness going on in the world? There's a whole lot of it. Sad, but just be right with Jesus and you're on the right side. That's all I can tell you. We ain't got time for people's craziness. Okay, y'all. I just got a little bit of oil in here and the fries going down. I'm going to check. Hold on. I don't like my stuff dirty as I cook. <clears throat> Take this red fish out a minute. y'all. My little friend Andrew brought me this. But I'm going to show y'all it still ain't finished baking. Well, it ain't finished baking yet. He's not white white yet. So we're going to let him bake a little bit longer. Slow made just a few french fries y'all randy cannot eat what i'm cooking because he is extremely sick he's on a strict liquid diet due to um sickness with the corona shit going on going on good old <clears throat> We drove, we left Friday to go to North Carolina, because that's where he's from, to go visit his dad and the kids. We got there Saturday morning, because it was a 13 hour drive. Um, we got there, and on uh, Saturday, probably about five, we went and visited Amanda, uh, and Jeremy and two of the grandkids up there, and had a nice time with them. Sunday, we got together with Amanda, Jeremy, uh, Ray's <coughs> ex-wife, and her husband, Charles, and we all had a good time. We ate some... Uh, Amanda's favorite food. I want to say it's called Arigatas, Kyoto's, I don't know, something like that in North Carolina. Well, Randy got deathly sick, so we thought, well, maybe he got food poisoned. Well, it wasn't that, because him and I ate the same thing. So, uh, if it would have been food poisoned, I would have been deathly sick, too. Well, it turned out it was not food poisoning. <laughs> we had to go get him. Uh, he literally burnt up two days with uh, from 102.7 to uh, 103 with fever for two days and extreme diarrhea for a week. So um, 
he got tested for COVID and they come out right to the car and done his test. I mean, it was crazy. Uh, but anyway, so he's fighting all of this craziness. And thank God his test came back negative, but he still got the fever and that. So um, the doctor today told him to, for him to self quarantine, even though he don't, he showed negative. Um, he's got to self quarantine starting today, 10 days. So. <clears throat> we got a break in the weather today y'all it's raining i'm so glad i think andy went today in this crazy weather and went fishing because i was actually looking at one of his um videos on youtube earlier right before i started doing this and uh he was talking about the wind and the water high so i'm assuming that was from today and uh i'm sure he done good that that young man never goes fishing without bringing home fish so one of these days we will get on a live stream together and cook and hopefully fish one day together with randy and i but yeah, y'all, the old man's doing better. He's um, he's looking better. He's very weak. Uh, but day by day, I think he's getting better. I think. Let me get this other red fish. Now I'm gonna get this other red fish ready. See this red, this is the filet of a redfish that my awesome little buddy Andy brought me. Telling you he could be one of my grandkids. Hey y'all. So this is so you see what I'm doing. There's a red fish. Put some butter on there. So I can have everything go better with butter. I'm going to take my paring knife. Put some scores in them. This is a very thick fish. But once it's cooked, it is white, flaky meat. So, we're going to do Andy's little recipe, so I'm calling this one Red Fish Andy. We're going to put some seasoning on there. We're going to put... So y'all know it's Perdome, okay, seasoning. I really need to go to the store, but guess I'll get me some home delivery. Garlic powder. Anybody that wants to critique me, that's fine and dandy. I, do, I really don't mind. It is what it is. But uh, the only one I'm going to be, because I made close law before and I tasted it and put the fork back in it and all that. I'm the only one going to be eating this. Randy cannot eat none of this. So, I'm not going to worry about double dipping when I'm the only one eating it. Y'all got what I'm saying? Let me get my other lemon. Randy is 
on a strict uh, liquid diet. So, because when he got sick, um, he's got extreme diarrhea. Not that y'all want to hear this, but it is what it is. Uh, okay. You put my butter down. I meant my lemon. I like my fish to lay on lemon. Because like I said, I'll be eating and I'll be pulling them up. Is this baby in there? Hey, Daryl. How y'all doing? <clears throat> Your first batch of fries, y'all. Almost done. These are the ones freshly peeled. I'll pull the skin off of some of them and some of them will be frying with the skin on. I don't know, we live on the coast, so everything I'm going with is like that nautical green, greenish teal, whatever. In case y'all can't tell. <laughs> yep. <coughs> Even down to the towels. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Golden brown. Fresh. Not frozen. I got potato, uh, potato salad. I need to make potato salad. Uh... Coleslaw made. How is the weather up there in North Carolina, y'all? Y'all getting any rain? It almost felt like home when we was up there visiting for that short time. Okay, y'all, here goes the ones with skin in. That way I got them doing real quick. As soon as they come up, bam, bam, bam. Come on, get it done. Get her done. Get her done. Season her up. Take her around. Get that oil off of her. Oh, yeah, y'all. Let me tell you, we got the prop on them reeling around us so as soon as, whenever, <laughs> I don't know when, but God willing, she'll be in the water again. You see. Mm -mm -mm. Show you. Ooh, 
maybe not. Yeah, really, Daryl. Thank God, huh? Y'all getting rain up there? Oh, just poured down. Yeah, we had it really, really. It stormed earlier today here. Mm -mm -mm. Good eats. Oh, yeah. Bob was up there. I brought some redfish up there and some croaker up there for my father-in-law. And uh, I made him some redfish. He loved it. Made him uh, some home homemade fries. Brought him up some gumbo. Uh, so he's got food to eat. Well, the gumbo will last him probably till I get up there. He said he's gonna put it in, cause I had it in one big container. And uh, he said he was gonna put it in individual things for him. Cause he's like a bird. Um, and that was pretty much it. I was gonna try to get a whole bunch of cooking done for my father-in-law while I was up there, but. Randy decided different. Oh, he's knocked out. I thought he was up. He got up long enough to eat this jello, use the bathroom, and back in bed. Yes, y'all, it's still a hot mess. You know, later I'll get this all together. Oh, yeah, you know what else I put on, on, on the fish? Lemon zest. Forgot to tell y'all. I'll put it on the other one. Let me put some on this one. Because, uh, lemon zest, besides, you know, the squeezed lemon, but the zest also, see, I have a little zester. I love this little gadget I got. Bought it at Burke's. I love Burke's. Give me money, I'll go nuts in that little place. But anyway, y'all see this little guy? It goes like that. I can get it. It snaps right on. All your stuff goes right in there. Love it. So we're supposed to be coming back to North Carolina in November, God willing. So 
all you bum, bun cousins up there, maybe God will and we could all get together and do something. It'll be great to see everybody. Besides that, a funeral. I ain't had homemade fries in a while. Those taste pretty good. Chip. Come on, little redfish. You're almost there. Almost. Y'all heading to Florida. What y'all want to go? Where at in Florida, Daryl? Are y'all going on a cruise? Dave Town, I'm what you gonna go do, watch NASCAR? People do that anymore? Oh, okay. Y'all, in case you're wondering why I'm looking like that, it's because how I got my phone propped up, I can't. <laughs> yeah, I know. Brandy and I, our thing is literally fishing. We don't, no football, no sports. We just. We just fish. That's it. When we out fishing, he's working. I'm cleaning the house and cooking. And I tell y'all what, let me check this redfish because this is really, really, really smelling good, y'all. Oh, wow. Very, very nice. You know what? I hadn't really tempted to do is um also making it one day with homer john cross i don't know why but me i love homer john i mean who don't i've been tempted to make a homer john cross bed fish and i really I mean, that other side, I could probably make a cooby on it. Because not too many people really know what cooby on is. But no, I can't. Uh, I don't tolerate bread sauces. And, uh, Brandy can't eat, so I know I can eat the baked bread fish. Okay, y'all, I'm going to give it like three more minutes and that bread fish will be done. Mm -hmm. Then it should be done. And that's about it. We're going to have baked fresh redfish. We're going to have fresh cut french fries, potatoes, and I made some coleslaw while we was making this live video. Yes, people, I double dipped. I am literally the only one eating this. Um, nobody else is going to be eating it because my husband is sick, so he can't have none, and I will be the only one eating it. So, yes, I did. I double dipped. <laughs> Can't help it, y'all. 
but uh, we put the redfish down on a bed of lemon. I used good old homemade, I guess y'all could see that, garlic powder and Chef Paul Perdone seasoning. I put lemon, fresh lemon, squeezed on top of the fish, and lemon zest on top of the fish. Um, my fries are a nice golden brown. I'm going to take them out. Now, this batch, y'all, I done with the skin on. I like the skin on the potato. Some people frown on it. I personally like it. Let that grease get off of there. air fryer and I love it. I'm going to have to make a meal in an uh, air fryer. I absolutely love my air fryer, but I have not tried to air fry french fries yet. I've tried to air fry fish. Mm, mm -mm. It's like eating powder. <laughs> it is the worst ever. I never, ever try it. I mean, I don't, I'm sure there's people that do it and love it. Not me. Not me. Okay, y'all. Move this, this, wipe down that. We are getting ready to take that red fish out and show y'all. Hold on, let me get my, where did I put them? Y'all see this flaky goodness? This is what I am calling my redfish Andy. My little friend caught it and brought it over to us. And I think that's gonna be one heck of a meal. So shout out to Andrew Guggins with Backwater fishing all one word on youtube and he's got a facebook page so if y'all follow me on facebook go follow this young man he's a father a husband an awesome young man and uh i want to thank him for this thank him for this healthy meal right here so anyway y'all that's going to be it for today I'll take a picture of it when I'm done with everything and put a post of it on my page. But from my table to yours, hugs, love, and kisses. Walk with God. Make sure he's number one. All glory to God. Love you all. Later. Let me hit finish, y'all. I'm not the best. <laughs> Bye.